I will be persuading you guys about the topic why you should support the ban on mining in environmentally safe areas. Today I will be talking about why the ban is generally better for the environment. Then I will be talking about how the if you don't support the ban, how this can be hazardous to you. And then I will be talking to you about what green mining is and why it is generally better than environment. This is a quote from the Industrial Minerals and Rocks book, which was published by Society for Mining, which are measure met allergy and expiration in 2006. It says, in general, facilities must be designed to minimize pollution, and mining is restricted in some instances because contamination is a problem. The reason that I include this quote is because I think this is very important that all mining companies and big corporations should probably do this and make sure that they follow these techniques. And there are I included selfish representatives, which can be like presidents who believe global warming is a myth, and they don't really, they're more interested in making profit than they are about caring about our well-being. And the reason why you should support the ban is because they are new innovative methods that need to have more research, but to get more research, they need more support. And generally, it improves the environmental impact and the environment effects you. So I'm going to explain to you why it is hazardous to the environment. And what I found in the Industrial Minerals and Rock book about was an article that was about land use and restriction in Japan on their mining corporations and why they have them. Some that they have are like the maximum amount of land for each mine. They can't over excel how many mines that they have because of contamination problems. Then they have to have analysis of their groundwater, groundwater around those mining areas because of pollution problems. And I believe generally that these are good reasons. I don't know about you guys, but I think all of these have to do with how we live in our environment. And if they were to not use these analysis that their people in their towns might have polluted water and all kinds of contamination problems. The second thing I will tell you about is why this is hazardous to us if we don't support the ban. Um, if you don't really know about mining and environmentally safe areas, it basically, you don't really need to. It'll still impact you even if you feel like you don't care about the environment. It'll probably still have an impact to you at some time in your lifetime. And on minpost.com, which is a Minnesota Technical Institute website, an article by David Henry about the campaign to save Boundary Waters. And this was a campaign that the group leader, Becky Rom, supported. And it was for the Twin Metals Project. It was a mining company that was trying to um, mine in a territory that was called the Boundary Waters um, Canoe and Wild Wilderness Center, I think. It was where something used to be, and it was very special to her, and that's why she was a big part in the um, campaigning, and she actually went to Congress, members of Congress, and this is a quote, she said, the watershed surrounding the Boundary Waters is territory too precious to allow copper and nickel mining projects that present a set of environmental complications unique to this area. And I just want to see if a show of hands. The reasons why the territory is special to her and why she thinks that it is should be saved. How many of you think that the Congress should ban the mining there by showing and how many of you think that it, they should just mine there and it doesn't matter? Maybe one. Okay, so a lot of people actually do care about the environment in here. And I think that's 
a big reason why you guys should definitely support the campaign. Um, these are just a couple of facts that I found on miningfacts.org and why it can be hazardous to you are things like the pollution and these are some reasons how you can basically explain how it can be environmentally sustainable. And there are things like reducing water and energy consumption, which is like mining companies, big mining corporations using too much water and produce, they have to go and use the groundwater if they don't have enough reduce or if they don't have enough produced water in their own company, they have to go use groundwater and this can produce contamination. And the energy consumption has to do with how much energy that they use to do the mining and it can have a lot to do with greenhouse gas emissions and stuff like that. Another thing is minimizing land disturbance and waste production. Um, later I'll talk about the green mining methods and a lot of these mining companies and big corporations have to um, dispose of their waste somehow and they just have these landfills that they have to dispose of this waste in and it can basically just ruin our environment around wherever those landfills are. And another thing that would be sustainable about mining that you can do is prevent soil, water, and air pollution at, man site, at mine sites, which to do those things, you would basically have to minimize land disturbance and waste production. Another thing is conducting successful mine closure and reclamation activities. Reclamation activities are things like recycling their water or recycling their waste products. And now that I have informed you how this is hazardous to you guys and us in general as humans, I'm going to explain to you basically a way, something that you can support that does help um, mining be environmentally sustainable. Now I'm going to talk to you about green mining and why you should support this um, method of mining. What green mining is has been said by MIT.web says that it is basically an environmentally friendly and economically feasible way of mining. And some examples would be like reducing energy consumption and things that I had on the last slide, and reducing amount of water input and recycling that water. Um, I'm going to now talk to you about some, an article that I found on MIT web about um, Molycorp. Molycorp is a mining corporation, a huge mining corporation, that um, the article is about how they reopened a California mine and it was, um, the mine was taken down in 2002 and they basically rebuilt it and they reopened it and they changed all their old mining methods to new mining methods and the difference was substantial. Um, I have for you guys a summary of Molly Corp's green mining methods. This is a picture of a landfill mine 
or a mining landfill, sorry, and it is for preserving resources through integrated sustainable management of waste. So as you can see, there's like a bunch of tires and probably more rubber products that they, they put it down there and then they put something, but it's made of some kind of material that will actually not um, emit waste into the ocean, stuff like that. And so that's another way that they recycle their, um, their materials. So today I have talked to you guys about how supporting the ban on mining is environmentally safe areas is critical to the environment. And I will also provide you with information about how it can and will impact you and the relevance to you guys about it being hazardous to your health. And lastly, I talked to you guys about why you should urge large mining companies to comply to the green mining method and the reasons why it is sustainable for the environment, you, me, and even the mining corporations. Thank you.